Hey guys, so today I have, um, I picked up on eBay from Books and Games 702. He's selling comic mystery boxes. I got two of them. I believe they were 20 books per box. And it, the way the description read is that he's selling off his dad's comic book collection and it didn't sound like he knew exactly what he had. So I'm kind of hoping that there's something good in here. Uh, if I remember correctly, there were $13.99 a piece. If you bought more than one, then you got a slight discount on it. He's got it set up like that at eBay. So um, we picked up two of them. Let's uh, jump right into it and see what we have going on here. See if I can... It doesn't feel like these have any kind of cardboard like protecting them. It looks like they're just bagged and taped together. So let's hope I don't mess anything up here trying to get them apart. I did a video. Well, what you guys will see as a few days ago, I just did like an hour ago when I opened up my awesome freaking dragons that these pick up for me. I probably should have cut these apart before I started filming. But I might be alright. Of course, if you like the books that are inside, I would say go get some, but keep in mind that this is how he ships them, so. <clears throat> no idea which one to start with, let's just start here. It's got a little mangled down here in the corner a little bit. Just hope nothing good is damaged. Although, of course, I'm not going to know if it's good, so you guys will have to, my comic friends will have to let me know down in the comments if uh, we manage to snag anything decent. No, I'm just going to cut the bag open the easiest way to get them out, I think. Let's see if I can get them out of here. Oh, anything else. Now, I'm assuming that they're not going to be in the best of shape. So I guess we'll see. Let's start, put them upside down. Let's we'll start here. It's like some are bagged and boarded and some aren't. So we have Out of the Vortex, number one. I know I've never heard of this one. And so I know this one looks pretty good. You're going to change out that bag from the board. But <clears throat> the cover actually looks, well, there's some crinkling down here in this corner here. You can see that at all, but so that's the first one. The second one we have is it's an image comic. Tomorrow Syndicate Book Six. It's nineteen sixty three. 
here in the corner. Now, wow. Well, let me check out the condition. You know, it's got a little bit of a right here, something, but I don't. Spines it, so I don't know. Yellow pages, I think. The next book looks like a valiant book. Says it on the back. Hmm. XO database number one. Now, uh, he did say this was a mix of all kinds of Marvel, DC, Image, Valiant. Oh, my goodness. I just accidentally looked ahead a little bit. It was kind of not stuck together. but So, this one we have in Image Comic, the Pro or Profit, number one. Now, these may all be dollar bin books. I don't know. Although this one looks really cool. There is some damage up here in the top corner. But it's the crow. Two out of three. Dead time. But there's some corner damage up here. I don't know how that affects. Oh, it's a black and white. That's kind of cool. Next one we have is the Mighty Thor, number 434. See a little tiny. I don't, not really any spine sticks, but it is it does have a damaged corner up here above the staple, and it's kind of rolled a little bit. See that it's kind of rolled here, but so book. Next we have Alpha Flight number 85. Uh, this one's got that same curl to it and that little bit of corner damage up here. It's Alpha Flight. Quasar number 17. I, this has a, quite a bit of damage to the corners. Um, I don't really see any spine sticks or anything, but then we have Mr. Miracle number 15. Uh, it's still got that roll in it damage up here. I'm guessing these are probably mostly dollar books. I'm hoping. Horus Lord of Light. Image Comic Book 5. Smaller book. Mirror to Hero Premier Edition. This got a little bit of that weird rolling, but not like these guys do. Next we have Demon number 11. Oh, that's interesting. I kind of like that cover. That's a very interesting cover. I hope you guys can hear me. I know the sound is a little wonky, so I should probably speak up. Um, but I'm ha having a little issue with my voice, uh, with the, the dust that we had come up from the Sahara Desert, I guess. Messed with my allergies really bad. Alpha Flight number 84. Still got a little bit of corner damage, but I don't see the roll like I did on the others. This, again, none of these are bagged and boarded. Some of them are, but...
Next we have Gru the Wanderer of uh, 74. I've never heard of this one. You guys heard of this? It does have that weird rolling right there. The, see, no light catches it right there. Next we have, hold on. Sorry guys, uh, husband came in and asked me a question. So the next thing we have is Pit, uh, image comic number one. Wow, that is just, I love that cover. It's amazing. I mean, I love the art on it. Like, I don't know how how well Image does or, you know, anything like that. I just... Then we have Scavengers number three. It has a little bit of that funky weirdness roll, but the corners on this one look pretty good. Now, a lot of these I've never heard of, so I don't know... I just don't know. You guys are going to have to help me. The Chromium Man. Triumphant. Uh, number one. It reminds me of Colossus. Chromium Man. Next we have Strange Tales, Cloak, Dagger, and Doctor Strange. Number 15. Cloak and Dagger and Doctor Strange. Strange Tales. I'm assuming that's coming out of Doctor Strange. Strange Tales. Then we have the Alien. Aliens vs. Predator. Huh. doesn't give me an issue number anywhere on here that I can see. Is this a variant cover? It's got to be a variant cover, right? I don't see anything. But I'm guessing, is this a variant cover, guys? It's got some weirdness, like it, it got damp or something. That wavy, waviness down there at the bottom. Dark Horse Presents. Uh, Heartbreakers, Gilia and Cilia, Aliens vs. Predator. A little bit of curling right there, a little bit. DHP. Oh, Dark Horse Presents, <laughs> number 42, Kings in Disguise, The Argosy, Aliens. Now, you guys, if you, any of you see something in here that you like, please let me know. Hit me up. Not all of these are going to stay in my collection. Ray and the Future Force, Valiant Comic, num number 13, I'm assuming that's Ray, it could be Rye, I guess, and the last one in this package is Ray and the Future Force, number 14. I'll check them out, see if, see if any of them interest me at all, but all right, so that's it for the first one. That seemed like more than 20, didn't it? Well, let's go ahead and get into the second one. We're already 15 minutes in. I'm sorry, you guys. We don't usually try not to do these videos very long. But 
comic books, it's harder, especially when you're doing mystery boxes with lots of books in them. Right? I know. I know. Don't roast me in the comments. I know. It fell. down. I'm a little disappointed, I think. I'm a little disappointed in these books. So I was kind of expecting a little more, I don't know, well, I guess a little more well known. But So we have Valiant Harbinger number 20. And maybe I'm wrong. Maybe there's some good stuff in here. Am I wrong? Hmm. Um... Shadowhawk number two, image. And even if it is good, most of this, well, like this, these seem okay. Okay, not great, okay. But that first box, whatever, was kind of bad. Dark Horse Comics, The Shadow 104. And we have The Second Life of Dr. Mirage, Valiant number five, Valiant Comics number five. And next we have Ultraverse, The Strangers, number three. Ultraverse Prime, number six. Exo Man of War, number 16. The Max, number four, Image Comics. The Max, number five. XO Man of War, number 17. Another Valiant. Grew the Wanderer, number 47. It's 1989. Definitely older. Um, then we have Scavengers number three. The Chromium Man. See, I don't, is this the same? I think this is the same one we got in the other box. I believe. Take a look later. The Mighty Thor 418. So, okay, we did have a couple Thors. Doctor Strange. Yeah. What's this one? Daredevil, The Man Without Fear, 295. Ghost Rider. Side by side with Ghost Rider. I hope this isn't a key. It's got that weird spine roll thing. It's 
rest of it looks okay. Eh, I mean, it's not my greatest shape. This man, ultimate something, number seven. Inkman? The ultimate. Uh, I can't tell what this is. Ah, oh, look, Inkman number ten. Trapped in the video verse. And another Quasar. Cosmos in Collision, number 24. A couple more here, guys. Um, hope you're not tortured too much. Cloak and Dagger, number 10. The Mutant Misadventures of Cloak and Dagger. Uh, Cloak and Dagger number 11. Quasar number 18. I mean, this one I've heard of, but I mean, just the name of it. I don't know anything about it. And last but not least, we have Valiant Harbinger number 11. Alright guys, well I hope you enjoyed watching the video. I'm kind of thinking that I didn't get anything good, so it's probably a good thing that we only paid like, I, since we got two of them, I think we paid like 11 something with free shipping, I think, per bundle. So, anyway, let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Let me know how bad I did. How if I did any good at all. Um, and I hope you like, comment, and subscribe. We really love responding to the comments. Um, I'm a little disappointed in these for my personal collection, but again, I don't, I don't know what I have, if, if anything. So anyway, guys, we will see you on the next one. Thank you so much.